Happy to see you here on my channel Brain Logic, and today we have a really great challenge 2 plus 2 divided by 2 and 2 plus 2 inside these parentheses. And a lot of students might be saying, okay, mister, this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen addition, division, right here, multiplication, addition. So I learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. So go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section. What do you think is the correct answer to this challenge? Right here, A, B, and C. So choose one option. What do you think is the correct answer to this challenge? And write your option down into the comment section. We will check our answers here in just one minute so it will be really interesting so first of all i want to rewrite this challenge so we have two plus two we have division by two and we have two plus two inside parentheses and as you can see right here we have addition so this is our first mass operation right here we have division this is our second mass operation right here we have multiplication before this parentheses so we have third mass operation and we have once more addition so this is like a four mass operation so what is the first step this is the main question we should divide at first add at first or maybe multiply at first because right here obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create different ends right so we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem okay this is very important thing in terms of math because we can't solve these challenges randomly it's really bad if you for example we start with addition then division then multiplication or another student start with multiplication division so like randomly order i hope you understand my my explanation right here so randomly order is really bad for example let's look at this pemdas order of operation this is the most popular order of operation in the world all internet libraries scientific graphing calculator works according to pemdas order of operation and let's write let's solve this challenge according to this pemdas order of operation so we have 2 plus 2 divided by 2 and inside parentheses we have 2 plus 2 okay here's our challenge and if you look closely we have a lot of elements and we have a lot of elements right here but how does pemdas works pemdas works from the top to the bottom so the first step is parentheses so we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses next we should evaluate exponents next we should evaluate multiplication division group and the last step is addition and subtraction group okay so here's other steps and right now let's scan what elements do we have in our challenge first of all i see this parentheses and in the same case parentheses is the first step according to this pemdas so firstly we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses because as i told before higher position higher priority and in this case we have parentheses right here so firstly we should add our expression inside parentheses so we have 2 plus 2 divided by 2 and times right here 2 plus 2 equal to 4 so everyone know about it times times 4 okay so right now we have we have this expression so first step right here second step right here so we uh, add expression inside parentheses what are you going to do next let's go to the next step let's scan what elements do we have in our challenge so second step it looks like exponent but we don't have any exponent we don't have any powers right here we don't have any squares cube so in our head we can easily skip this part we don't have any of those what about multiplication division group and this is the trickiest moment because a lot of students confused about about a solution because they think that we should multiply it first another part of student think that we should divide and it turns into a big argument but here's my explanation according to Pam okay we have multiplication and division but according to pandas order of operation multiplication division have the same priority so this is our second step and this is our second step also so doesn't matter multiplication division we should scan here's the main thing we should scan what is the first sign from left to right where do we have this multiplication division part here here's our multiplication division part and we should scan what is the first sign from left to right here's our left hand side here's our right hand side and obviously the first sign from left to right is this division so two divided by two is our second step so we have what do we have right here we have 2 plus 2 divided by 2 equal to 1 and times 4 as I told before we still have multiplication so we need to complete this step uh, full fully complete this step yeah so we have 2 plus and then 1 times 4 equal to 4 and so addition yeah we have right here addition this is very basic everyone know how can we add it so right now you don't need this order of operation obviously but addition is our last step finally addition 2 plus 4 equal to 6 and really tricky moment right now because we don't have this option and a lot of students confuse okay we solve this absolutely correctly but what about option we don't have this option a b and c so let's turn uh, turns back and let's solve this question in another way let's for example divide at first or add at first and they solve it wrong okay because they told it in a different way they think that correct answer is b or c but correct answer is six 100 correct answer is six because we solved it according to correct order of operation what about option of course three factorial is a correct option because if you remember if you learn something in terms of factorials factorial this is a product from one until this number so we have one times two times three which gives us 
which gives us 6. So the correct answer is option A. So according to PAMDAS, correct answer is 6. According to this test, like a little trick right here, so correct answer is option A. So correct answer is option A to this challenge. So I hope you understand this explanation, I hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, if you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, so with that being said, see you in the next videos, and have a great day!